In this video I'll cover how to create push notifications to be sent to your mobile app. Push notifications are used to send messages to your members on your mobile app. In order to create these notifications you will need to log in to your site and in the back end you will need to go to the mobile app module. Once you're logged in you need to click on the switch to club central button. This will take you to the back end of your website. If the mobile app module is not on your dashboard, you can access it by clicking on the globe icon at the top left. And you'll be able to access it under modules, or you can use the search box at the top to look for it. If you would like to add this module to your main dashboard, you can click on the icon at the bottom right of the screen. Click on the plus sign, and again, you can go under modules to add mobile app to the dashboard. In order to create new push notifications, you need to click on the green create button at the top. You will need to let your members know to turn on notifications for your app on their phone. Otherwise, they will not receive any notifications that are sent to them. The title is the name or the heading of the pop-up notification that is received on the phone. You want to make sure what you put on the title is very clear and direct. There is also a 25 character limit for this title. For example, what you could put for the title here is course closed. You're able to direct members to a specific URL that you type in this box here. You need to make sure that you include the full URL in this box, which means you need to include the HTTP or the HTTPS. The message is where you put the main message of the notification. There is a 300 character limit for this specific box. And what you could put in here is something like, course will be closed tomorrow from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. If you don't set a date by clicking on the calendar icon, it will send it now by default. For the recipients, the first radio button will allow you to send this notification to spe either specific member types or member statuses. The second radio button here will allow you to send this message to specific members if you like. So I'm just going to choose a random member here as an example. What's very important that you need to keep in mind is that your members need to be logged into the app to receive push notifications. They will not have to be physically in the app but they will need to be logged in. So they can be logged in but they can be on their home page or in another app or their phone can be even locked. Think of this like the Facebook app on your phone. Once you're logged in, you will stay logged in and receive any notifications. But if the members log out, they will not receive any notifications anymore. Once you're finished creating your notification, click on the save button at the top. Within this page, you're able to see all the notifications that you've created previously. If you click on the icon, this will allow you to preview the message, but you are not able to edit it. If you would like to resend a push notification that you've created previously, what you need to do is click on the copy icon. This will allow you to copy that notification and it will allow you to further modify it. Once you modify that message or that notifications, you can choose different recipients if you like and save that message to be sent. You're able to search for notifications that have been created, updated, scheduled, or sent. And in the text box, you can put the header or the title of that message. Again, you need to make sure that the notification for the app is turned on on the member's phone. And they also need to make sure that they're logged into the app. Otherwise, they will not receive any notifications that you sent to them. That concludes how you're able to create push notifications to be sent to your members on your mobile app. 